All right, what should we work on today? We got the bamboo farm building. We could step inside and work on the library. The nether hub is still very far from finished as well. Nah, now this is what we should work on. All right, this is the villager mall, if you didn't already know. It's one of my favorite projects, but it is, again, very far from complete. It's also very laggy, if you couldn't already tell. That's where I keep all of my villagers, all 72 of them. <laughs> so, yeah, the frames drop quite a bit in this area, but that just makes me want to work on it more, because when it's done, it will look a lot nicer. The interior is at a point where I think I'm pretty happy with calling it finished. I could add a few more smaller details, but I think I could do that later on. I just want to get the outside done today because pretty much what it looks like now is just the shell of the interior. It's very messy and there's just like still rails all over the place. That's from when I had to move the villagers up there to the second floor. By the way, up there is a completely different like interior. I could show you guys that later if you haven't seen it, but I want to get started on this project. Um, the idea in mind for what it's going to look like is a Middle Eastern inspired design. I'm probably not going to complete the entire thing <laughs> in one go, um, but I'll guide you guys through my process of designing it, and hopefully it all goes to plan. Alright guys, it's been a little while and I have some updates that I want to show off. So yeah, first thing you probably noticed, I have a bunch of these outlines of dirt. Uh, this is just a sketch, I guess you could say, of what the building is eventually going to look like. I've made the mistake in the past of just freestyling, I guess, and just building my final design like right off the beginning. And I'm not going to do that for this build, I'm actually going to take my time to really think about what I'm doing. And I actually made some mistakes like while working on this. I made the towers, you can see these towers on the side. Um, I made them too far apart from the building. And I wanted to keep that original shape of the interior. So what I did was I pretty much took them down and made them more closer to the building. Obviously they're gone now so you can't see them. But I did come up with this uh, final design which I'm much more happy with. Um, I also have this semicircle thing you can kind of see these lines up there on the top. Um, that's going to be where the dome is going to sit on. I'm going to have to take a part of that prismarine bit out, but I think that's fine. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to look really nice. I still have to build the shape of the dome out of dirt. And I also forgot to mention earlier, I'm going to continue using the block palette of granite and mud brick, but I'm also going to try and mix in some other blocks because it is a very boring color palette. Um, I think some, you know, other blocks that would help the build pop out a little bit more would look nice. Uh, but I also want to make it look kind of like an old build, like it's been here for a very long time. Um, so yeah, also on the outside here, the landscaping around the building needs a lot of work. I'm going to have to work on some custom trees, and I also want to work on some fountains. I've been contemplating putting one in this little pond here, but yeah, to be honest, I really don't know if this is going to stay here. I mean, it's a nice pond, but we have so many of these rivers around that this water isn't really, it doesn't have a use at all. But I don't know. I think it could stay. Um, I, I'm kind of thinking more about what I'm doing for the long term, because if I remove this pond, then what am I really going to build in this area? And I want this area to look nice. I don't want it to be boring. So um, I think like the more interesting things you have obviously help your world. But enough of me going on a tangent about landscaping. I'm going to work on this stuff all off camera um, in between here. But I have another thing I need to show you guys. Alright, how do I put this? Um, well, the workshop did not even last one episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you caught last episode, I worked on this area. I made like a staircase here. And yeah, it's, uh, it's gone. Pretty much what happened was after I completed editing and uploading last episode, I realized that uh, there was a couple things I could tweak to make it look a little bit better, and that ended up turning into me taking out the bedroom area right there, and then fixing the walls and the 
yeah, I kind of went overboard, and now it's pretty much back to normal, except we did keep the fireplace. Um, oh, yeah, this door is here, by the way. We used to have a fireplace right here in the center, and the door's on the side, but it didn't feel right. I don't know. I just, it didn't feel right to me. But that resulted in me figuring out this design right here, which I think is a lot nicer, and it makes a lot more sense for this area of this room, I mean. Um, so, pretty much, we have you know, the fireplace here, which I still really like. This is a really cool design. And uh, we got the blast furnaces and the furnaces in here. Wait a second. What? Oh, I didn't know they added that. No way. You can sneak under slabs. Did they, like, secretly update something? Because that wasn't in the major update. Hold on. I didn't even know there was... An update I'm not even gonna lie let me test this out so you can actually sneak under slabs now in bedrock edition what <laughs> okay that was uh, very strange that I realized that right then but it's good to know um, so yeah on the sides of the fireplace we have these barrels which pretty much serves the same function as you guys saw before we have my tools that I am repairing in here Look, at, I'm almost done repairing all these pickaxes. I've spent hours and hours trading with the villagers to get levels. And uh, I was able to repair all these, which, by the way, were all, like, level 33 repairs. And we got two left, so, yeah, pretty happy with that. Uh, we also have my shovels in here. We have uh, axes. On the other side, we have swords right here. Hose. <laughs> and tridents, which I actually have a lot of for some reason. I think it's just from the drowns that I've been killing. Um, got some paintings on the wall. I've just been trying to make it look nice in here. Very cozy, which I think I've completed. And we also have the old armor stand thing that we had in the like old, old workshop design. Uh, so I keep my armor trims in this chest right here. And some like backup armor in here. This is like my netherite set that i talked about last episode uh, but yeah that is the new and improved workshop um, if you did watch last episode I know uh, sorry for wasting your guys time on that I tried to explain like my thought process and what I was doing and I just ended up tearing it all out which I kind of feel bad about because it's not even here anymore I'm very indecisive with my builds I guess but you know what I am happy with it now so it's gonna stay like this for a while and uh, yeah I think it's time for me to get back to work Actually, scratch that. I think it's a good time in the episode to switch it up and do something else, so... You know what we have to do? We have to find the Woodland Mansion. Um, it's something that I've had on my list of things to do for a long time. And I got the Explore map last episode, so let's go do that. I'm pretty much ready to go. I have everything in my Ender Chest. I just have to grab the map real quick. I'm also gonna go through the Nether this time. I think that would be a good idea because then we don't have to, like, explore all those chunks. Um, pretty much what I'm going to do is look in the direction of the mansion, which is that way. Oh, look at that. I didn't know that they did that. Uh, see down in the corner, they turn the, uh, like the arrow down there, like red when you're in the nether. I did not know that. Oh yeah, this is also something I did off camera. Um, we had this hole here in the middle of the nether hub for a long time, and pretty much what it does is go down to where I mined netherite, and I uh, just kind of closed it in to make it look a little bit better. I still got to work on the outside here. This whole place is a mess. Uh, got to dedicate an episode to doing, like, updating this. But yeah, let's start the adventure. Let's go off in this direction, of course. And uh, I wonder if it's going to show up on the map if we get closer. I hope it does, because that would make my job a lot easier. Oh, no, wait, is that a new fortress? I think this is brand new. I haven't really been over here in this direction, like, ever. No way. Yeah, I don't think I've found this before. Oh, wow. Okay, so, uh, I don't really want to do any nether fortress exploring right now. Uh, I'll just make sure to come back here some other time. I really don't want to die out here. Alright, guys, check it out. We are finally even with the woodland mansion here on the map. Uh, we're at the position in negative 529, negative... 2367 so what is that 21,000 blocks out or something like that uh, it's kind of far but yeah I'm gonna try and get like exactly where the mansion is now it's not that far I think it's actually 
right over here. Oh, look at that. We're moving on the map really quick. Okay. So, I think, uh, let's put the portal down, like, in a safer spot, and then I'll pop through on the other side. Alright, just my luck. Of course, I get spawned in a cave. <laughs> uh, I guess that's what I get for putting my portal down at, like, near lava level, but... Yeah, let me dig up now. What am I, negative 14? Great. Okay, are we finally at ground level? Yes! We got sand. Um, does... are we in a river? Hopefully we are. And... nope, we're in the ocean. Okay. Are we near land? We are not. You know, I do see a ocean ruin. We could get one of those sniffer eggs. That would be really cool. Uh, I think I do have my, uh, what's it called? The sweeper or the brush. <laughs> brush is what it's called. I don't even think we can get sniffer eggs because we're not in a warm ocean. But the sand makes me think that it is. I'm going to double check though. I might as well. Oh, there's an emerald. I'll grab that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find one. That sucks. Um, whatever. I guess I'll just go and find the mansion now. Very close to it, as you can see. And we have to go that way. So, yeah, let me start flying. Yo, check this out. We just came across a mangrove. This is pretty cool. I haven't come across one of these in a long time. Now, let's see if it's a big one. Not really. It's kind of small. Uh, it kind of sucks. But we do have a jungle over here. Still have yet to find the dark oak forest, but hopefully that changes pretty soon. Alright, a jungle temple. Let's go inside. Um, I don't really need to go in these anymore because I did find the armor trim, but it's nice to get a second one if it does have one, but not in there. And no, it does not. Hold on a second, guys. I think we got it. If this is not the right biome, I'd be so sad. Uh, let's fly up. Oh, there it is! Oh, I see it! Let's go! Okay, cool. Finally, <laughs> we're, what, negative 4,000 blocks in that direction and 16,000 blocks? That's crazy. But we finally got it. I'm going to set the portal right up on top here. Let's go! Oh, man, I'm so happy. I haven't, I haven't found one of these in a very long time. I think the last one that I found on my own was like six years ago or something on my phone. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a pretty big deal. First one in this world, by the way. And let's put my bed down uh, just in case. Really don't want to die out here. Um, there we go. Just reset my spawn. I just want to get a look at what this uh, looks like from over here. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> it fits actually very nicely in the landscape here. Um, usually the woodland mansions, like, don't really look good. It looks like they don't belong, but that looks pretty cool. Alright, actually, I think I'm going to go in from the top here because my bed's right here. I think it would just be a lot easier, if just in case if I die. So, let's start right here. Uh, we're pretty high up. Uh, did I bring any... Okay, I could make ladders. Or I could just build a staircase. Let me just do that. By the way, I have it on hard mode, so yeah, it is going to be the most difficult version, of course. And I see another guy. Come on. I know you saw me. I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> oh, jeez. Here we go. I am very cautious when it comes to these things. Um, and I saw another guy over there. Sorry if you guys think this is boring. Um, I know you guys probably done these woodland mansions before, but you know, it's uh, it's a cool thing. And um, I'm taking this really cautiously. I'm actually going to come back and take these bookshelves because they are very valuable. Here we go. Got our first staircase and the pillager head. And we have a bunch more of these guys. Let's take them out. Oh, we got our first chest. And it's a bunch of flowers. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pillar up here in the center. And then I can just shoot at them from this range. This is way easier. And we have a chest up here. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we got. I will take the name tag. I'll leave the music disc in here. I already have like four of those. Um, and I really hope we get one of those armor trims. I don't want to jinx myself. And there's another guy. 
Um, but that's kind of what I came out here for. I've been trying to collect every single one of those. And this is one of the last places, along with the ancient city. Oh, I'm not ready for that. Ooh, I'll take one of those, though. Alright, I think I cleared out the second floor, so let's go down to the bottom floor. Honestly, I could have probably dedicated a whole episode to just taking over this place. And there's another guy! Oh, well, at least I spawned here. Alright, guys, I know peaceful mode is cheap, I know, but... I'm more of a builder, you know. <laughs> I I'm not I'm not built for this kind of adventure stuff. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep it on peaceful mode the rest of this thing. Got a mushroom farm. Oh, there's a chest with nothing in it. <laughs> okay. Whoa! I wish I had torches so I could show you guys this, but. This is cool. I haven't seen this before. Let's see if there's anything inside. Oh, oh, here's a lapis. Okay, I knew there was... Wait, what? Is that lapis? Hold on, I can't see. Okay. It is. Okay. Yeah, I knew there was, like, one of those lapis blocks in one of these sculptures. Um, so, yeah, I'll take this back and put this in the trophy room for sure. I think I found the secret room, guys. <laughs> There's no entrance in here. Hopefully, we get lucky. Let's see if we got it. And no. Wait, 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 wait a second. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Efficiency one leather pants. I'm actually going to take those. What? Okay. I almost left this room without picking those up. I, I just remembered that that could happen. That's pretty weird, but yeah, I'll probably put those in the trophy room also. What is this? Is this another secret room? I th or no, wait, hold on. Is this just the back of a staircase? What is this? What is this? <laughs> is there a chest? I hope that... Oh, there is. Okay, please, please, please. Oh! Oh, we got a... Notch apple. Okay, I'll take that. Um, and protection three. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, we finished exploring all the main rooms, but I'm going to double check that I didn't miss anything. Um, I turned it back on hard mode, and I'm going to do a little bit of, as I said, double checking. Um, I don't really want to miss anything. I don't want to come back out to this place. It's really far, and that would suck if I got home and then I realized I missed something. Oh, I did miss a chest. Look at that. But there's nothing really in it. Uh, there's another one of these rooms, though, right here. Let's see if it got anything. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I'm so happy. You guys have no idea. We got the Vex armor trim. Yes. Guys, I was so scared. I thought I wasn't going to get this. Oh, yes. Okay, that is the great thing about double checking. <laughs> You never know if you're going to find something else, and we actually got it. I am going to go and put this up in my ender chest, because this is really all I care about right now. Um, that leaves us with two more armor trims left, guys. So yeah, I'll meet you guys back at the Villager Mall. Alright guys, we're back. I'm about to show off the progress that we made. Um, but I quickly want to explain why I've been gone for so long. Uh, this is actually the first clip that I've recorded for this episode in a couple of weeks. I got two main reasons. Um, it's kind of hard for me to record during the summers, which seems strange. I mean, I should have more time to do stuff, right? Um, but actually, no. I did actually end up getting a job, so I have been busy with that, but it's okay. We're actually ending that soon. It's like a summer job, so I'm almost done with that. Um, but also, I've just been spending time with my family. It's really the only part of the year that I really get to spend with them, so... Uh, it's been nice, you know, just chilling, and I've been, you know, taking some time off of, you know, the games, so. With that said, I think it's time to show you guys what we've gotten done here. So, this is the front of the Villager Mall, now that I have worked on it. 
Um, not done. Still, guys, I don't think I'm going to get this done today. I know, I know, I know. I always say I'm going to finish this project. But I just really need to get this video out. <laughs> like, it's been like a month. I feel really bad. Um, this project is really tough, man. I've been looking at lots of pictures and trying to do some references. And, you know, working on this build is tough. Um, because, first of all, the windows don't really match up. So if we go over to the side here, we do have these spots where I can let light into the build. Uh, you can see, like, up there near those posts are... You know where the hallways end so I've been trying to figure that out uh, along with that there's lots of flat walls that I need to detail and make look interesting and that is how I ended up with this design here uh, if you remember we have this original gate which I like uh, but it's tough I've been trying to make some copper and just like other colors so we have this like orangish color and I'm hoping when it oxidizes it's gonna look nice as like a green kind of opposing color to the tans and reds that we have with the granites and stuff in the mud brick um we'll see how that ends up though i just have to wait for it to do that but i mean as it looks like right now if we take a step back it looks like a brain up there <laughs> kind of have like a half a dome shape so yeah i'm just again i'm gonna have to wait for that to oxidize on the sides here, I did continue with the copper. I don't know if I'm going to continue with that like all the way down. I really don't know if this is going to stay. If I don't like the greenish, like grayish color, it might switch. Because I've also been thinking about putting in deep slate somehow up there. I don't know. It, this is a really tough build, guys. Um, I've been... You, you, the parts you don't see is that I've been switching out like tons of different blocks... Uh, whoa, uh, a little lag spike there. Um, these are all the different blocks I've been using. I mean, it doesn't look like a lot, but it takes time to switch it out and then take a step back and see if I like it or not. Been testing out like mangrove and here's some more copper. Uh, what do we got? This is a polished deep slate. Got bricks. Uh, problem with the bricks is that it's too textured. I mean, if we look at it from up close, it's just too much going on. What I would really like is kind of like a terracotta type texture but i don't know what color i need like a light brown would be perfect um but that's just another brown it's not really making this build um very colorful i'm trying to go with lots of colors i know it's i've said it so many times this episode but it's tough i'm trying guys so that's where i've been stuck with this project Building is hard. Um, I think what I'm going to do is probably spend some time in between episodes working on the sides here and the back. I don't know if I'm just going to copy what's on the front and put it on the back here, but then I'm going to have to like expand this land here, which I terraformed. But I do think we are making progress. I mean, looking at it now, it's such a different look than what we had before, and I do think we are progressing somewhat. Um, even if it's very slowly, this is like how much work I've gotten done in a month. And then imagine like the towers on the sides when they're actually completed. I, I you know, I think it's going to look pretty interesting. Um, and also the plant life we're going to have. Um, this is going to be so many hours of work <laughs> for such a little thing. And also, I just saw a tweet today that um, what they're going to do with villagers, or at least librarians, is that they're going to make them biome specific, guys. Um, that might not be a big deal to some of you, but what this means is that librarians are going to have to be in specific biomes for, like, specific books. So, say, if we want Frostwalker, we're going to have to go to a snow biome to get Frostwalker books, which I don't know why we'd need that, but, yeah, that means this whole build uh, doesn't work. <laughs> uh, guys... I don't know how I feel about this. Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, what do you guys think? Um, hopefully my villagers are fine. I mean, I did already trade with them. They shouldn't change. I, at least that's what I'm hoping. Um, I even went in and named all the villagers. This was 36 name tags that I just made. Um, so hopefully they don't change or despawn or uh, nothing like that. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, 
I started editing this episode. It's currently August 2nd for me, by the way, so we'll see when this episode comes out, probably in a couple days. <laughs> um, it's currently at an hour and 45 minutes, though. That's the length of the video, completely unedited. That's just, like, all the clips compiled together, including this one. It's probably going to be, like, two hours. So that means I have some work to do. Uh, but, yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate all you guys that do that. I have been putting in a lot of effort into these videos, and, uh, you know, all those kind words and likes and stuff really shows that you guys enjoy the content. So, yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.